in my previous video I showed the painting of these uh, old saws and here's the finished deal finished piece the final cut the end result and if you would like to see them getting painted that is a previous video and I'm beginning to work on this tin it's obviously in need of a good clean what I'm about to start doing now it's been painted grey with an undercoat most of that will have to come off and I'll get rid of all this flaky stuff stay tuned so here I've begun to scrape it I found some hidden words that I didn't know were there the old paint that was on there was so thick that that writing had disappeared and this so that's a bonus and so far I've got it to this level of taking the paint off looks quite good like that however most of that paint's going to need to come off because it's flaky I won't record myself sanding it and scraping it and going over the wire wheel because that would be possibly a little bit boring and that's where we're at so far so here at this stage I've scraped off a bulk of the paint as you can see there is some dark blue paint which would be the original coloured paint underneath so that's interesting now I've scraped most of the paint off I've gone over it with a wire wheel some sandpaper and of course this trusty old cheap $4 scraper which has done so much work for me in the past unbelievable what four dollars can do for you now there's still paint in these letters the letters are indented into the can so that'll be the next job be a little bit time consuming is to get in there with that that point there this point on the scraper get in there and just get all that paint out of the letters I'm glad in the end that I did scrape all this paint off as you can see if my camera likes to focus which it doesn't you can see lots of these little rust spots that were underneath the paint now because I've exposed them I'll be able to neutralize that rust so I can get my camera to focus I can neutralize the rust uh, deactivate it and then begin painting it up again knowing that it's going to last 50 years and I can have a clear conscience knowing that I've done the best job that I know how to do I'm not going to get rid of all of this blue paint it's withstood sandpaper, wire wheels, scrapers obviously a good quality paint and it would be nice to leave some of the and of course it would be nice to leave some of the original paint underneath so that's what I'm going to get on with now it's going to be a job where I sit down maybe listen to some music and just scrape the last of this paint out of these letters here stay tuned uh, now I've scraped off all the letters on this side that's the first side done and there is the paint picked out of the second side so now I'll clean it up quick sand and then I will do a rust neutralizing deactivating process next here's how we look all cleaned and tidied up pick the paint out of the letters I've wiped over it with some isopropyl alcohol cleaned it up and now I'm about to put some rust neutralizer 
over it and hang it up it's not a difficult process it's a three step process where I put the rust treatment on let it soak and then I have to wipe it off with methylated spirits and then wipe the methylated spirits off with water and then dry it off I have isopropylene alcohol isopropyl alcohol I mean so that's what I'll be using now I'm going to get to it say goodbye to the rust so all that's required here is to wipe this phosphoric acid solution all over the metal and make it damp the phosphoric acid neutralizes the rust stops it growing back that won't take too long I'll show you the finished results I hear the tins hanging up and it's getting rust treated a lot of the rust has disappeared already and a lot of the metal's gone back to being a grey silver colour. I'll just quickly show you the top. A lot of the rust has disappeared once again and a lot of it has turned back to silver. Oh that was rusted out. Now you can see the writing's turned back to silver and the same with this part although looks like it needs to soak just a little longer and then I'll clean it up and I'll be ready to give it a zinc coat there we have the top of the tin it's an artificial light it's at night time the lighting's not very good but you can see there all the rust is gone it's a beautiful thing and tomorrow I'll let it hang overnight tomorrow I can paint it and get it done so let's then coat this now and now I'm back on to working on this old uh, spirits can a big a motor big tree spirit can I've already rust treated it coated it with a nice uh, matte black zinc coat there's a few rough spots that I'm going to clean up sand it back lightly and recoat it and take it from there Now we're going to try a gloss coat on this tin.
And here we have the polished up lid. I've just finished polishing up this lid. Nice brass lid, came out nice and shiny. So we can put that on, and that is the finished piece. Very happy with how it's turned out. It's got a gloss black um, top coat on it, and I've filled in all the writing and all the letters with the white came out very very awesome and I'm happy with it I think it looks absolutely great and that polished cap just adds a nice bloom so there we have it one tin down